Hello guys, Shubham here back again with another video and today we are going to look into another Android 10 ROM with apparently very sweet name called as POSP aka Potato Open Source Project. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. So guys talking about the build then this is the latest build from POSP community which comes with the security patch of 5th of March 2020 also packed with flawless and super smooth performance personally I didn't face any issues with performance in this ROM everything are stable and smooth with almost zero lags and everything was working super fine and super sweet as per my opinion and as per my usage of about 5 to 6 days which is approximately a kind of okay to test whether a ROM is smooth or not in every circumstances. So talking further, the ROM comes with a boring AOSP based generic camera app but again thanks to the Gcam version 7.3 which is just packed with extra and much needed features for every photography lover. So no issues with Gcam compatibility with this ROM. I have heard many people asking me questions that ROM like Evolution X with latest version and also Havoc OS was facing issues while installing Gcam. Yes, we will find solution on this, but for right now, camera app of Gcam version 7.3 works perfectly fine in this ROM and you can use without any issues. Hello gamers, next feature is for our mobile gamers. So gaming in this ROM is just phenomenal. Thanks to the CES station kernel which is of version 7.1 which is clocked up to 66Hz which I flashed for this and literally it gives you flawless and almost negligible heating so consider flashing this kernel. Overall considering the gaming performance in this ROM is super dope and lag free with almost zero frame drops. And again thanks to the safe station kernel, I personally recommend that you must try this kernel. This kernel is compatible with all Android 10 ROMs out there with giving you a very good gaming experience and also a very nice amount and you can say super dope amount of screen on time in terms of battery and also the charging speed so must consider flashing this kernel and your phone is now a gaming phone and you are all set to go so guys as i mentioned earlier thanks to the say station kernel the battery may boast up and will give you almost 8 hours plus of screen on time on this ROM included gaming performance too on normal basis this ROM gives you about 6 to 7 hours of decent screen on time so flashing custom kernel and enjoying all of the benefits would be a great deal breaker so must consider flashing the station kernel yeah it feels like I am doing advertising but seriously you must go for this kernel after camera app talking about the next important issue is the banking or payment apps yes you need to flash magisk in this rom for proper and full working of payment apps just like you do in other android 10 roms as the rom is not pre-rooted you have to root this rom via magisk and you have to pass the safety net check to get working apps like gpay, paytm, phone pay and much more oh God, must install magisk version 20 or upper version and via magisk hide you are good to go with it with all working banking or payment apps so that's also gets covered so let's move towards the customizations in this rom yes guys this rom also got some minimal customizations the ROM consists some minimal but sweet to be considered customizations such as quick settings, 
under which you can reduce or increase opacity of QS panel with color settings as per your wallpaper too. Moving towards buttons and gestures including advanced restart and some generic stuff. themes where you can set accent color and also icon shape of your choice. Status bar with visibility of 4G and Volti icons which is again a generic type of setting. Some lock screen stuff and finally the miscellaneous option. So let's see some other newly added features in this ROM. Talking about other new feature, then under display settings is about dark dim, which now you can set to turn on and off automatically as per the time you want. And probably this is the new feature adopted from Android R or Android 11. So this feature was firstly introduced in MIUI 11 or you can say MIUI 11, but now it's good to see in these android 10 roms also and obviously it's also coming in android 11 so if you ask me about the overall performance of this rom then it can be considered to be used as a daily driver packed with decent battery life and fluid performance so if you like this video please make to hit that like button share and subscribe the channel until then peace out